Your hands are loose, going to be loose at this time. Uh, you're going to join your right hand and face from the mouth. Okay? Now, the groom is first. And what happens is you're going to repeat what I said to you. Okay? You're going to repeat like I give you to be my wife. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Amy Marguerite Moss and Paul Christopher Foley and to rejoice with them. Paul, will you give yourself to Amy to be your husband? To love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to her, so long as you both shall live. Amy, will you give yourself to Paul to be his wife? To love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, 
and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him, so long as you both shall live. The members of the families of Paul and Amy also have a share in this wedding in a very special way, and they're asked to give their blessing to this marriage. Do you, the members of the families of Paul and Amy, give your blessing to this marriage? I, Paul, take you, Amy, to be my wife. I, Paul, take you, Amy, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish for the rest of our lives. To love and cherish for According to God's holy love. According to God's holy love. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Amy, take you, Paul, to be my husband. I, Amy, take you, Paul, to be my husband. To have to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for the rest of our lives, according to God's holy love, this is my solemn vow. I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Paul Christopher Foley, and we welcome your applause. 